We got the diesel mini bike rolled out. About to stick a manual clutch on it. Chance, how many hours you say you've put on this so far, you think? Um, it's probably got close to 100 hours on it. Everything's been working good on it. I probably have 500 miles on this bike with this engine on it. But that centrifugal clutch doesn't really let you use all the power. And the motor doesn't have much, so it's kind of a big deal that we're able to put this manual clutch on here. The turbo helped this motor out a lot. I think we're building three and a half, four PSI, something around there. Last time we had the gauge on it. Our pump blew out. Turns out it didn't like being hooked up to a Milwaukee battery, so we just took the pump apart and Chance created this little contraption here. So that's our old pump. But this is the bike. We're about to stick the manual clutch on there and see how she rolls. Been waiting for this moment. Yeah, Chance been waiting freaking since we built it, I guess, but you weren't able to get the manual clutch then. Yeah. And then one day I decided to check the website and I guess the dude that bought them out finally started producing them again. And so we ordered two of them. This chain feels pretty wore out. You ride this thing every day. Hammer time. That is the best smelling penetrant. All super slick stuff. Yeah. I have to put a link down in the description. So what you think about this seal, Chance? Uh, she's got a little bit of a leak. Yeah, just a little bit. Slight. And I just washed it before the last ride we went on. So I... That's about how much it... Yeah, that's from one ride. How'd you end up getting it off? Um, GM pulley remover set. Yeah, I figured I had a pulley remover set or some sort of remover set. I'm glad you found some. Ideal, like a clutch puller would have been more ideal, but it worked. Yeah. I was just kind of worried something was gonna get stuck or something. Since yeah. It wasn't like made for doing this, but it got the job done. I wonder what that other one's gonna look like on here. Should look pretty bad to the bone, I'd say. Hoping that little cover guard, chain guard that came with it works. Yeah, that's what I was worried about fitting with that pipe right there on Look, top. I just seen diesel drip right here again. So, that just the heat from the sun, it's only 80 degrees outside today, has this diesel coming out the gas, the, the, the fuel tank cap. Pretty steady drip. Then it ends up going all the way down the pipe. So I think our solution for that is to go to be a peanut style gas tank, like a chopper with a properly venting fuel cap. Yeah, that'd be nice. I think that'll solve our issue with that. And we can probably mount our pump up under the tank too. Because this the oil. fuel tank also it's not full all the way. Like it's probably like 80% full right now. And it's doing all that. That ain't no bueno. Well, let's start stacking the new clutch on here and see what it looks like. I'm gonna clean the shaft up and put some anti-seeds on it. <laughs> Good idea.
get a little wire brush now. That keyway nice and clean. Got her nice and slathered on there. Oh uh, yeah, I don't want nothing getting stuck on there again. You can definitely tell we skipped this step last time. Just did a little nice, nothing crazy. Just a little skim coat on there. You know, a little skim coat. A little skim coat. There's a little glob right there. A little glob action. Yeah, yeah. And wrong just, you know, a little, little glob action on there, you know. She'll survive. She's mint. So now's the part where we cut the video and I, I start looking at some instructions for a minute and try to figure out how this stuff goes before I put something on backwards and y'all try to do the same thing and then we both realize together that it's backwards. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save y'all that step and go ahead and make sure I'm doing this right. So I walked back outside. This is what Chance has found out. Got the old cover off. And look, about inch and a half, two inches off. Charge pipes in the way. So that's gonna require more fabrication and our table's pretty much full at the moment. So what we're gonna do. Going back to free, <laughs> free turbo. Back before Chance knew what a gas, what yeah, a gas switch to, was. Yeah, throw back. <laughs> Yeah, he, I yeah. went from this to this. Yeah, he, looks like he ran that wire unshielded. All right, well, yeah. we're about to put the old stuff back on. We're going to run her naturally aspirated with a manual clutch. That way we'll really get to see how much power this motor makes in stock form when you're putting 100% of the power to the chain. So that'll work really good. That'll at least help us when it comes to a comparison video of turbo versus non-turbo because it's going to have the exact same drive setup, same clutch. So we'll get started on it and let y'all know how it goes. And man, we're, we're excited. A little disappointed we're going to be missing the turbo for a week or two, but. Yeah, main main thing I'm going to miss is that side pipe. That's my, one of my favorite mods. Yeah, you put the side pipe on there, didn't you? I just put mm -hmm. the dump. Yeah, we didn't get that on video. I got bored one day and yeah. I, I extended her. But, I mean, it's been about a year since we've been uploaded a video of this thing, so. It's been on TikTok, though. Y'all need to go follow his yeah, TikTok. Yeah, bike nugget. Yeah, <laughs> if y'all want to go watch some dumb videos of this thing. So we're rolling some coal now. Oh, yeah. If you want to see her rolling some coal, go, go check out Mini Bike Nugget on yeah. TikTok. That's where all the dumb stuff gets posted. We used to have problems with throwing a chain, so I added this little idler pulley down there, and it works great. Yeah, got that from Tractor Supply. And then we just weld a piece of metal on there and weld a bolt to it. Yeah. And then put her on. That motor's gonna be like, thank God you give me a break from this turbo. Yeah, she's got a little blow-by. <laughs> <well now. laughs> yeah, we'll get a blow-by video later. What if she'll have less blow-by? Now, I mean, if it's leaking past the rings already, it's probably going to leak less with less pressure, so. Dang. 
Are they torqued down? Uh huh. That's how you want them. That boot hold that boost in. Pushing about four psi. You don't see many many bikes pushing four psi on the daily. This is a daily driven build right here. She's been missing the the uh, pull starter since the beginning of this, pretty much. It sucked when we first got it. It's halfway broken. The motor was dented. It's Chinese diesel, so don't really expect quality. Just hope it runs. But I mean, this thing's full throttle all the time. Absolutely. That's the only way to ride. Now this is a rat rod now. In most cases, it's the only way to ride. Rolling that coal. One day we're gonna take this whole thing apart Redo all the piping. Because when you see how far that is, we can tuck that in. We can get all this a little bit closer to the bike. Not too much, but. We basically wanted to see if it would work. And it works. So I think maybe this springtime we're gonna make a project out of it. And strip it all down. Put the what would you say a peanut tank on it, like a bobber tank? Uh-huh. So actually do a finished build on it. Add a headlight, gauges, speedometer. So it's definitely an ongoing project, one that we'll never get rid of. I want to make it look like a bagger. Oh, a bagger? Yeah. It ain't too bad really. What is it set it up? Not really that bad. A little so, bit. So he went full stainless with all this piping. So it cleans up really well. All right, check out that leak right there. Side cover, crankcase cover. Oh yeah. She's been leaking. That ain't that bad. No, that's normal. That bothers you, Chance. You need to just put you one of them EGRs on here to clean her up. Dad, go to that hole break. Look on the motor. Oh yeah, I did that uh, one time. Yeah, I, I put a longer bolt there oh. now, so it's fine though. Oh, okay. Yeah. She'll, she'll, she'll ride. Look at the little tag on the injection pump. It's got Chinese. Or Chinese writing? Yeah. I guess this is a serial number. BF 1060Z02. I don't know what that little Chinese writing says. I didn't learn that in middle school. I think they just try to teach all of us Spanish over here, so. I didn't even figure that one out if it's a uh... oh, yeah. sounds like a Dyson I'll tell you what she'll, she'll move some air fan pulley. Put some grade 8 bolts in there. Old Mr. Steve up O'Reilly's hooked me up.